Hi, welcome to Project Next Back. Uh, my name's James Durton, uh, Operations Director here, and we're sort of doing this series to try and help educate and, uh, and learn about the packaging industry, the innovations going on at the moment. Um, Richard's here to, to help as well. Yeah, I'm Richard Butcher. I'm General Manager here at Nature Pack and been in the packaging industry for over 25 years. And particularly now, at this point in time, it's quite exciting. There's lots of new innovations, new products coming through. So compostable means in relation to packaging, anything that's plant-based and can be uh, processed either through industrial composting or home composting, and it will break down into a material that can be put back into the environment to enrich the soil and will leave no harmful residues. Compostable or industrially compostable, which is what most people mean, what most of the packaging industry mean when they say compostable, means it needs to go through an industrially composting process, normally in vessel, normally for about 12 weeks. Um, the temperature, moisture levels, um, oxygen levels and such like all monitored during that process. So it's quite a, a rigid process as such, um, whereas home compostable products uh, there's a lot more variables because obviously your compost heap at home is going to be very different to say my compost heap. Uh, temperature is going to be different, what's in it is going to be different and such like. So uh, that's the sort of two main distinctions. Uh, and difference. also home composting, anything that's certified as home compostable is designed to break down at a much lower temperature. With the industrial uh, facilities the temperature normally runs at about 65 degrees whereas with the home composting it's uh, around about 25 is what things are aimed at. So even if home compostable stuff gets put in industrial composting, it just means it breaks down that much quicker. No, a lot of it is industrial compostable, um, which you know I think the reason that we want to move towards more home compostable is that to the general public, compostable means that they can take it home, put it in the compost heap, and it's going to disappear, which for a lot of products is not the case. It needs to be in, like James has said, in an industrial facility. It needs specialist collection and special processing. The beauty of home compostable is that you know people can take it home, put it on the compost heap, and within a given period, around about 12 weeks, depending on temperature, it will disappear. So that's what we want to do, and I think um, bringing the home compostable range in will obviously take a bit of um, ambiguity over what compostable means um, because obviously industrial compost is different to home compost. And um, quite a lot of the time you'll find that home compostable items are made from more sustainable materials than even compostable is and uh, or it's certainly uh, materials which um, are more friendly should I say and the uh, some of the items like this are made from uh, a waste material anyway these particular ones are made from a waste material from Europe I believe uh, from the wheat yes agricultural um, waste, waste so uh, so it is waste material anyway which is then being converted into sort of a food to go item and then this can actually then be recycled or put into your home compost bin at home uh, you know, so and, and quite a lot of the home compostable items can include materials like paper, uh, cornstarch, and, and that sort of thing, as opposed to um, PLA, which is another sort of cornstarch, but it's quite rigid, and, and, and that normally does need to go through an industrial composting process. I mean, that's quite an interesting point, really, that um, certain compostable products are actually grown specifically for packaging. So PLA, for example, is a, is a maize that's grown to produce a starch which they can convert into a film. Obviously they are taking agricultural land and producing packaging from it whereas you know the, the sugar cane fibre or the agricultural fibres that they use to reclaim for this sort of thing it's not you know taking agricultural land away from producing food it's a byproduct so you know in our eyes it seems like a pretty good pretty good choice. Yeah, so this is another uh, new product, um, ideal for the sort of food delivery service and also um, sort of ready meals. So this is a uh, what we call a meal box. Um, it's got a lockdown lid on it, and uh, as you can see, it locks down pretty well. Um, and it can be used for hot or cold foods. Uh, it's got some um, insulating properties because of the material used on it, 
They can be microwaved, um, uh, ovened, put in the freezer. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people are using these for sort of frozen ready meals where you don't need to see the product because you can then clip it all down. Uh, and then also the people like uh, people, restaurants that sell on Deliveroo and Just Eat and that sort of thing, this would make ideal for them. It closes up, stacks well, uh, and you know can be delivered to the customer. And then when the customer is done with this at home, they can just show it in the compost heap. It doesn't need to go anywhere special or anything like that. Um, so, so that, that's that's another new product we've got on the on the site. Just find us on naturepack.co.uk and on the social media, YouTube, LinkedIn, we're all over that. Um, the links are here. And uh, so, so yeah, just, just get in contact or give us a call. Um, again, you, you know, the numbers are all on the website, so I'll show you. Uh, look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank you very much.